Dear friends, this lecture is a continuation of the previous lecture. Due to shortage of time, I have to finish off the previous lecture. So, now, if we have some kind of a cross section, that is a circular cross section, and this suppose is A1 and this is A2, then A1 is equal to A2 is equal to A by 2 or pi r squared by 2. So A1 is equal to pi r squared by 2, A2 is equal to also pi r squared by 2. And the centroid of the centroid of the semicircle lies at a distance of 4 r by 3 pi from this neutral axis. So essentially if we substitute this here, we have sigma yp A1 is equal to A by 2. If we take it common, it will be equal to y1 plus y2. Now sigma yp into A is pi r squared by 2 y1 plus y2 is equal to nothing but 4r by 3 pi into 2. So pi pi gets cancelled and essentially 2 2 gets cancelled. So 4 by 3, 4 by 3 sigma yp r cube is equal to mp. Right? So now what is me? me is equal to sigma yp into z. And Z or sectional modulus for some kind of a circular cross section is equal to pi d cube by 32 or sigma yp into pi into 8 r cube by 32. 8 and 32 gets cancelled, so it will be sigma yp into pi r cube by 4. Right, so me is equal to sigma yp into pi r cube by 4. Now, now mp by me is equal to 4 by 3 r cube by or into 4 by pi r cube. r cube r cube gets cancelled so it's 16 by 3 pi which is equal to 1.70 right so mp is equal to 1.70 me therefore the plastic if we have the bending moment for plastic design it is 70% more than